Hello there, Adam Bazaljet here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today we're looking at the trail hand, the right hand grip for the right handed golfer. Talk a lot about this hand, but there's several things you've got to do well here will really help you. I'm going to show you three keys and then a nice little drill that will help you get this feel and really cement it, get a great looking grip. Very briefly, if you're new to this channel, would love it if you'd subscribe. We have a lot of content here, plan to keep bringing it to you. So if you subscribe, hit the bell there, you'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Also, we have a wonderful app, the Scratch Golf Academy app. All sorts of training tools, warm-up tools, tempo trainers, fun things for you. It's free. Hope you'll pick that up. Okay, a good trail hand or right hand grip for the right handed golfer helps you in a couple of ways. Certainly it helps you have mobility. This hand is critical for that too, but the right hand will help you have mobility. If it's in a fairly neutral setting side of the shaft here, helps you keep the club face square throughout the swing, helps you apply pressure at impact. Let's have a close up look at some of the details you'll want to be looking for. So three things I often see in a bad right hand grip. Number one, there just isn't much security of the hold between the thumb and forefinger. That club can now play around, doesn't give you much leverage on the club. You'll also likely squeeze the club in mid grip to control it a little bit. So we want a nice pinch there where there's some control over the golf club. Next thing, see a big stretched thumb. So the wrist is too much at right angles to the shaft. Fingers are short, thumbs long. That is going to restrict your wrist. You want this nice diagonal run in and the thumb and forefinger at about the same length you'll feel much much more mobility and thirdly if you do this correctly your hand should be if you get it in the fingers properly I'm going to show you the drill in a moment should be right about at the side of the shaft it'll wrap slightly over the lead finger shouldn't be way over or way under this will help you apply pressure at impact Okay, here's our drill. All you need is a pen or a pencil. We're going to put our forefinger and pinky out and hook this pen behind these middle two knuckles, then make a grip and you'll really start to get the right look in your thumb and forefinger. That's what tricks people, the right sort of relationship to it. You can see how that looks. Let me do that again. Hold it for a second or two. Obviously, I'm not going to hook behind the golf club with my middle knuckles here, but I want to get that same sort of a feel, thumb and forefinger there and keep practicing between the pen and that. You should feel that forefinger really able to hinge the club up nicely. Okay, final couple of points. Does it really matter if it's overlap, interlock or ten finger? Not really. As long as there's a good secure bond between the two hands and the, the lifeline of this trail hand is up against that lead thumb, you're okay there. Final point, this isn't that difficult. A great grip will stand you in such good stead. Do it away from the golf course. Get that pen drill out. Get a club in your hand for the next few weeks, couple of times a week, several minutes. Get used to it. It will make a long-term difference in your game.